me while I have a heartbeat Even ripped apart the will that I've got sin Bring the power Now we gotta throw hands Bring the power Even standing no chance Bring the power What's going on, DSG? It's your boy Donald Bradley back at y'all another video. Today we've got the psychopathic hunting habits of <laughs> Satan's favorite birds. Yo, that title though, like I I just need you to tell me how you really feel. Just real quick. How do you really feel though? Like, god damn. <laughs> I guess we about to be educated. We over on Casual Geographics joint, you feel me? So be sure to like, be sure to subscribe. Follow me on all that there social media. We ain't here without any further ado. Three, two, one, click. No oh, Shit, That's what I said. Slick back. No. That boy said you in the wrong hood. Do you know who Sky you in, bro? No like you don't you know where you at, bro? This this is this this is controlled airspace, nigga. Slick back. That's what I said. Slick back. No. Yo, that ain't even fair though, bro. Homie had the snake all freaking tied up and the, the bird was just going crazy. Homie couldn't even fight back for real. Yo, that is cheap. You see this nest? You want to know what built this nest? You don't want to know what built this nest. You want to know what made these bones? You don't want to know what made these... Oh my God. Oh shit. This bird's a buck be coated me to my mental stability. The heart he coded me to my bento boy. I'm right there with you. What the hell, nigga? That ain't a bird, nigga. The f you talking about? That's a bird, nigga. That's a whole velociraptor sitting there up on that piece of wood, nigga. What the hell is you talking about, bird, nigga? What what is this? What is, that boy got shackles on? What do you mean? I ain't never had to see a bird shackled before in my entire life. You know what I'm saying? I got, you got the cages, you got the aquarium, not aquarium, terrarium, whatever the hell they see. I ain't never seen a bird sitting in jail. The way this bird sitting in jail, sir, this ain't a bird. Like it's a velociraptor. It's a whole ass dinosaur, and this motherfucker entirely too close to whatever the hell this is. I we got, I got problems. I got problems with this. Oh my god. Okay, why, why it got antlers? Like what, what, what's happening? Like what is what? See, see, see. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. This bird's a buck be coated me to my mental stability. The harpy eagle's a homicidal harpy with the jungle census on its. Harpy eagle. Okay. All right. All right. You know what I'm saying? In America, we see one main kind of eagle. Now, obviously, we know there are others out there. We've seen others. I ain't don't think I've seen this one. <laughs> Be coded me to my mental stability. The harpy eagle is a homicidal hippogriff with the jungle census on its hit list. And mm. a big reason is harpies having the largest claws of any bird. Not only do they have vice grip talons that could comfortably dap up a grizzly bear's paws, they say getting gripped by them is like getting caught in a Rottweiler's jaws. They're the national bird of Panama. But you finna be pantomiming once this Jurassic reject takes your breath. You're gonna be pantomiming with Jurassic reject. Yo, these are bars. Jaws. They're the national bird of Panama. But you finna be pantomiming once this Jurassic reject takes your breath. By crushing your windpipe, but by far the most out-of-pocket thing is what nature went ahead and did with their wings. Unlike most birds its size, harpy eagles have relatively short wings. I'm talking about if eagles were the NBA, this would be their build. But the short wings just means this life unsubscription service can duck and weave through the dense jungle to catch a body. Which also means there are very few things alive in the Amazon that a hunting harpy can't pack up, from monkeys and sloths to armadillos, snakes. Things alive in the Amazon that a hunting harpy can't pack up, from monkeys. That's a sloth. That man is in there. Look at him. Look, the camera can't even. Oh, my. Bruh. Bruh, that boy said, I got you. That's free eats. Knowing <laughs> that motherfucker could not move fast enough. Oh, my God. He's in sloths to armadillos, snakes, and porcupines to other predators like ocelots and foxes. They'll also body other birds like parrots, and they'll even murk other raptors like vultures. But then, what even is a raptor? The answer? might just surprise you. Is Raptors are what most people might call birds of prey, which is already a problem because there's plenty of other birds that'll have you praying. So the raptor title gets gatekept to the birds with all three. A sharp hooked beak, a Jurassic style pedicure in talons, and an OP sense of sight. So without a hooked beak but webbed to feed, the demonic garbage chute misses the cut. Chronic crash out the Canada goose doesn't sit at the raptor lunch table because if it did, it probably would have seen that coming. But the whole raptor thing- <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. Canada Goose doesn't sit at the raptor yeah. lunch table because if it did, it probably would have seen that coming. But the whole raptor thing's a pain in the prostate, and it's because raptors 
They're, they're basically cats that can fly. You remember the cat video I made and how insanely convoluted the names got? Like how a black panther isn't actually an animal, a cat called a panther isn't actually a panther, a snow leopard is genetically closer to a tiger, and how a cougar pushing 220 ain't a big cat but a cat barely a buck 10 is? Raptors are low-key the same, where the name raptor doesn't describe a family or union, but like black panther, raptor is more like a description. But I'ma get to that. Now the other problem with raptors is that nature basically bamboozled them. Of course the ability to fly is broken, but it comes with hollow bones. Now hollow yeah. bones aren't to keep the bird light enough for flight, it's more that pneumatic bones are filled with air and so give extra oxygen to fuel their flight. But it also means a broken bone is a career ending injury for an avian, and as hunters, they run the risk of getting folded by their own prey. The compromise is, raptors have some of the most heinously creative ways of confiscating consciousness. Revoking your existence. Whatever you want to call it, the bird of prey hunting strat is straight out of the pages of a mob boss's Torture to throw a snake at him? Wait a minute, bro. Wait a minute. Wait. Resistance. Whatever you want to call it, the bird of prey hunting strat is straight out of the page. Bruh, that's crazy. The bird was smart enough. <laughs> the bird knew that throwing this snake at oncoming traffic <laughs> would straight obliterate that bitch. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. <laughs> okay. Well, I, I see. What was it? A thousand ways to die. It was uh, a raptor that took a. a, a, a uh, it was, I think it was like a desert turtle or something. It took it up in the air, and usually they'll drop the turtles on like rocks and shit to break their shell. You know what I'm saying? Because they smart like that. They know bring it up high, bring it break. Um, and I guess the eagle peeped somebody's bald head and maybe like mistook it for like a stone or something and killed them with the, with the turtle. <laughs> that shit was crazy. All right. Consciousness, revoking your existence, whatever you want to call it, the bird of prey hunting strat is straight out of the pages of a mob boss's torture diary. And we can start with the secretary bird, aka Jurassic Park in yoga pants, named after the fact that, like a secretary, they'll connect you to the big boss upstairs if you give them the chance. Wow. They cancel prey by kicking them. Like a secretary, they'll connect you to the big pop, big boss upstairs if you give them the chance. That's a bar, bro. Write these down, bro. Where the animal raps at? <laughs> in the head until they flatline or just lie. Big boss upstairs if you give them the chance. They cancel prey by kicking them in the head until they flatline. Yo, I'm sorry. That is crazy how they got the snake just dangling like that. Like, it don't get a fair shake, like, at all. Is it dead already? Like, that's just... They'll connect what? you to the big boss upstairs if you give them the chance. They cancel prey. Yeah, all right. Look like the snake's already Prey by out. kicking them in all the right. head until they flatline or just lie flat. And their usual targets are snakes. Ah! The combo Thanks. delivering multiple kicks in a time Dump it takes to mom. blink. And how disrespectfully accurate they are. All adds up to a six-piece serpent assault where they... Yo, this is straight kung fu with these motherfuckers, yo. It takes to blink. And how disrespectfully accurate they are. All adds up to a six-piece serpent assault where they spam a river dance on the snake's skull until it caves in. Leaving the snake out of order like a reptile dysfunction. You gotta hand it to them. That's pretty metal. Actually, yeah. you should do the opposite since the kung fu crane can apparently shatter the bones in a human hand and it's not just snakes secretaries will go after things like cheetah cubs and baby gazelle i think now Damn. is a good time to mention they can be an honest four feet tall with a thigh gap no less as you can see they're liable to violate snakes and beauty standards all while being wow. one of the few birds with two pairs of wings no red bull this high stepping <laughs> battery charges with all the smoke literally because they'll gather around brush fires just for the opportunity to murk any small animal running for its life don't let the pretty Yo, the bars and the facts are coming at you at light speed, bruh. Like, this thing is on one. It's on two. It's on all of them, bruh. All of their heads. It's on head tops. Like, <laughs> Jesus. Because they'll gather around brush fires just for the opportunity to murk any small animal running for its life. Don't let the pretty privilege distract you. It's an African assassin chicken in thigh boots dressed like a recently divorced mother of three. And they're oh, not the only oh, ones, because no. I'll be honest. I low-key forgot this bird existed. This is a Sariyama. It's basically a Latin secretary bird, but the real family tree flex is they're the only living relatives of terror birds. Yes, those terror birds. Oh, they might be less vertically gifted at less than two feet tall, but instead of kicking, Sariyamas rather body slam their prey to death. The dinosaur time forgot will grab prey and slam them into the ground or against a rock repeatedly. They'll spam suplex as many times as it takes for the bones to break. And if you're too big for all that, they'll use the same sickle claw their prehistoric cousins use to hold down prey and disembowel it alive. So if you get targeted by a Sariyama, you'll either get the Hulk to Loki treatment except from a travel-sized terror turkey, eviscerated and violated while pinned by a weaponized toenail, or just swallowed clean like a Vorophile's wet dream. So far, we have a curb stomping aggro bird and a mob boss build and terror bird final form. And we're just getting started. This is what a you mean, bro. We was you. Did you forget about the damn eagle with the with the antlers that we had at the beginning of the video? What you mean? We got this and that. Don't leave that motherfucker out like we ain't just get done with that. That motherfucker was terrifying. I, I, we I, we move on. We move on. Bird and a mob boss build and terror bird final form. And we're just getting started. 
This is a kite, and before you ask, this was named after the bird, not the other way around. A kite is like the forgotten little kite. It was okay. I did not. I did not know that it was named after the bird. Okay. Is a kite, and before you ask, this was named after the bird, not the other way around. A kite is like the forgotten little brother of eagles and hawks, and like a kite, they catch bodies by hovering above the ground and waiting for movement, so they can swoop down and snatch it. I believe kiting is the expression. They're pretty cool. They grieve many of the insects that make life slightly less worth living. The 17-year cicada parade is basically their Super Bowl. Like the secretary bird, they too will gather around grass fires, and any animal trying to run from the smoke gets ironically cooked. But Australian black kites take it a step felony by carrying burning twigs and dropping them by on patches. By taking it a step felony, what? <laughs> Bird, they too will gather around grass fires, and any animal trying to run from the smoke gets ironically cooked. But Australian black kites take it a step felony by carrying burning twigs and dropping them on patches of grass. An act of avian arson that got them another name. Firehawks. And apparently this is nothing new, with records of them stealing brands from indigenous cooking fires and dropping them half a mile away. There have oh even been scientific records of them dropping bread into water to bait small fish. And if it wasn't for this clip, I probably wouldn't believe it. You'd oh think an aerial God, small that fish. Boy was like, if hey, it wasn't for this clip, that boy said, "Hey, homie, you you hungry? You feel me? I, I got I got you. You know what I'm saying? Hey, bro, come over here, get a meal. Yeah, 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 bro. Get you get your got your way. Yeah, boy. Only nigga eating is me." <laughs> I probably wouldn't believe it. You'd think an aerial arsonist airdropping inferno in a country that has up to 60,000 wildfires a year would immediately get blacklisted. But no, black kites are protected because once again, of course a felon with wings is above the law. They're also banned in Boston, but only because we all know Boston can't stand the heat. Now I have a whole video wow. on owls, so I'm not going to talk too much about them. But this is the start of what I was talking about because you'd normally expect a raptor to be related to other raptors. Instead, the owl's closest relative yeah. looks like a Muppet flashlight. That's grody. Flashlight. What does that? Oh, well, I can't say that. Owls are. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> I can't say that. Yo, that was a crazy one. Oh shit! Sorry, that one got me. That shit was funny. <laughs> Predators on incognito, thanks to feathers that allow them to fly yeah, almost completely silently. Again, you don't realize how unsettling that is till you go to bed a family and wake up a single mother. They also have a satellite dish for oh, a yeah, face and unsettling that, that clip, is till bro. you go to bed a Bro, that is, that is, that's literally what you call easy pickings. <laughs> family and wake up a single mother. They also have a satellite dish for a face and uneven ears, so even under a foot of snow, they can hear exactly where you're about to go. Owls are 100% the closest thing to cryptids with wings, and while they haven't murked people, allegedly, there's plenty of predators that do feed off unsuspecting humans, just like- bro, you gotta understand, bro, if these birds, let me tell you right now, some of these birds just double their size, double their size, we are prey. Grown ass people, we are prey. <laughs> you, including arguably the worst predator of all. They'll pick a baby up. Data brokers. There's a lot of data brokers that feed themselves by collecting your personal information and selling it oh, to the highest bidder. The and it's deeper than selling your browser history to companies wanting to know what to sell you back. Some insurance companies will team up with brokers and actually Probably. raise your Yo, rates he, based on what you put he out puts online. Them in there Cyber criminals can bro. casual geo for 60% off an annual plan to guard your private data. Because like believe me, if you knew some of the places your info is right now, your head would spin. Kind of like, wait for it. Yeah, there it is. That's what it looks oh. like to get folded by a falcon. You see, wow. falcons are cool, but yeah. they're weaker than they're eagles and ones. hawks, so instead they commit to the fastest hit and runs on Earth. Literally, the fastest. So falcons like the peregrine commit to the fastest hit and runs on Earth. Literally, the fastest. So falcons like the peregrine will start up high and dive. That's called the stoop. And the fast. As swift as a speeding arrow and more rapid than a cheetah. The peregrine falcon is the fastest member of the animal kingdom with a diving speed of more than 200 miles per hour. That is the meanest headbutt you ever gonna get in your life. How are they okay? What do they hit them with? Like you said, these motherfuckers got hollow bones. How you know what I'm saying? So you gotta judge the angles of some shit, bro. Like okay. Fastest. So falcons like the peregrine will start up high and dive. That's called the stoop. And once the flying derecho hits triple digit miles per hour, oh. they'll ball up their feet like a fist. So you Damn, bro. That is crazy. That, that just. Falco. 
punched! The stoop and once the flying derecho hits triple digit miles per hour, the ball of their feet like a fist. So yeah, they really do Falcon punch their prey into past tense <laughs> and even give them time to duck. Not only that, but wow. Falcons also have a toe mule tooth made specifically to snap spinal cords and send prey to the Lord like Sunday service, all while flying. The one shot specialist has been known to snipe bald and golden eagles threatening their nest. And there was one time a snowy owl murked a falcon fledgling, so the mother falcon went and life deprived the owl. There's a lot of ways falcons are built. So we wasn't about, uh uh, we gave ours back in blood. This ain't one of them nests, bro, where you can just come, take something, and people just go mourn and nah, bro, we come back for hours. I don't know what the fuck you thought this was. For speed, but the biggest like, flex is good? that they have the fastest last processing meal, speed of any animal alive. Compared to us, they see the world in slow motion. Falcons are dope, but because of them, we have to address the whole raptor thing again. Because instead of hawks, eagles, or any other bird of prey, the missile with wings is most related to parrots. So again, okay. raptors in a family name, most of them aren't even closely related. But there are a lot of falcons, like the American Kestrel. I like them because they're pretty. Small. The colorway ain't bad either. They also factory reset prey by stabbing them in the back of the head with that tooth, but you can't deny this psychopath's cute. The black thighed falconet is the smallest bird of prey in the weight class of a sparrow, yet they also find a way to pack up other birds. The pygmy falcon is a nest pirate that often shacks up in the homes of weaver birds. Normally it's a good gig with the pygmies clearing out snakes and lizards, but sometimes they'll switch up and kill their weaver bird roommates, so there's that. But there's another hey. falcon that might just be the biggest bird off of all, and it might also be the most underrated. Next to bat is... Boom! Output RK. Next to bat is what boom. you got for me today? I'm trying it out for free because it has quality. The Kara Kara. The Kara Kara is a black Air Force parrot. Unlike black every other Force falcon, they'd rather handle business on the ground. They live on honey badger timings and still pull up to a carcass and bully bigger vultures out the way. The crested Kara Kara is a special kind of klepto. They'll straight up mob other birds like pelicans and press them into vomiting their lunch so they can have it. That's Striated Kara Kara. That's crazy. That is aggro aggressive, bro. I need that. Sock a nigga in the stomach. Rrr, I said I need that. <laughs> and the falcons are a wise level threat to minor safety. You know, raptor comes from the Latin word to seize or take by force. That's what this avian oh. amber alert lives by. Caracaras oh, yeah. will also link up with each other and form gangs and have honest to God turf wars. Even back in the day, they were on Darwin's radar. In 1830, he mentioned how curious they were, but also how annoying it was to live around a bird that'll steal anything that isn't nailed down. Turns out this affiliated delinquent of a bird is low key the gifted student of the raptor class and is even smart enough to solve puzzles for fun. Basically, Karakaras are if the parakeet falcon and the secretary bird had a baby, but it was adopted and raised by crows and tutored by the key on weekends. Just an overall <laughs> underrated menace of a dinosaur, but also a hyper-intelligent, talented opportunist. Actually, I take that back. Vultures might be the most underrated. People assume something with the feeding habits of a casket is a pushover, and they do get their cookies taken by other raptors. But vultures very much can be about that life too, especially since black vultures often won't wait for an animal to expire. They'll put weak, sick, or young animals on a shirt. Some farmers know all too well. Some oh, like you ain't gotta be dead, bro. You just gotta lie, like, well, all we gotta do is see a little limp. You feel know I me? Mean? You know what I'm saying? Cough a little too hard. You know what I'm saying? We'll, we'll, we'll see what's up with you. We'll see what's up with you. Don't worry about it. Sometimes they'll wait for a cow to give birth just to jump the newborn and return to sender. Sometimes they won't even wait and they'll move on a cow in labor and act like the world's most malicious midwives. That's Getting violated crazy. by vultures means eyes gouged out, tongue torn off, and they'll even break through the back door. Basically, the booty warrior of birds, but unlike the ones, this one's protected by law. From a surgical psychopath, to a scavenger scavenger. Yet a bearded vulture eats almost nothing but bones, and they've even been known to swallow ones nearly a foot long. But once in a while, they'll go after the living, sometimes in the form of air dropping a tortoise hundreds of feet to feed on the insides like a I just told you in that episode where dude got it dropped on his head. Like, <laughs> gosh, you got you. Pinata. You know, mountain climbers were so spiritually disturbed by the beauty, they called it the bird of Satan. To be fair, they have a square ring around their eyes that fills with blood with stress and makes their eyes turn bloodshot when running a fade. The Grim Reaper's war king with a whole showering gun activated. I don't blame him. That is demonic ah. character design. Also, a bearded vulture allegedly marked a man with a turtle shell to the head like Mario Kart. He's seen the episode. He's seen it. He's seen it. <laughs> Which sounds fake, but keep in mind, there's a... 172 needles in her head after a porcupine falls from a lamp pole. God damn, that's that is literally that, that put that right in the series of unfortunate. That is some unlucky shit. You know what I'm saying? It's still unlucky to be hit in the head by a falling turtle. No one tortoise, whatever. No one expects that to happen. You know what I'm saying? But the same thing with a porcupine. Also, a bearded vulture allegedly marked a man with a turtle shell to the head like Mario Kart, which sounds fake, but keep in mind, there's a woman walking around with scars from breaking a porcupine's fall. RNG can be a real ass. Aw, that, and you still can't show me a bird with the Harpy Eagle's aura. We already that mentioned part. that life-canceling claws that could probably crush your skull, yep. which is why Harpy Eagles have a prey list of over 116 species. And that includes putting other raptors like Sariyamas and vultures on shirts. Don't think for one second nature came out with this and stopped there. The African crown 
Crown Eagle is basically the harpy of the motherland. Same survival revoking claws, and same short wings to make it a menace to monkey kind. And they're the only raptor to allegedly see people as prey, with reports of human yeah, child yeah. remains in nests and infamous. Yeah, I tell you, bro. Cause some of them, are, like like you said, some of them already. If you're small enough, you give the you just you double some of these motherfuckers' size, and that's it, bro. You can't live some places. It's either that or you gotta have that on you. You know what I'm saying? It ain't even for ops like that. It's for air ops. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on now. <laughs> Miss Tongue Child, believed to have been packed up by an African crown. Honestly, any continent outside of Penguinland has at least one of these eagles. Australian wedgetails go after kangaroos and dingoes, and their territory went up to bait a thousand dollar drone on sight. There was one time a wedgie fought a helicopter and won, past sensing a pilot in the process. Damn, the North that's American crazy. golden eagle has a hit list of prey in the 400s. But really, their claim to fame is how they'll give goats a first class flight to the gulag with no return trip. I'm sorry, this is so disrespectful. Look at this animation. He gave him an NPC death, gave him nothing but time to reflect. There's oh the Philippine my eagle, God. which honestly mocks the f out That's of everyone crazy. for no reason. But there might not be a bigger flex than the stellar sea. See, that just picked your ass up and dropped you from insane heights. That, that, boy, that, 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 it looked like hatred, but we know you're just trying to eat. <laughs> eagle. You know, if this wasn't on camera, nobody'd ever believe you. It's one of the heaviest eagles on Earth with an eight foot wingspan. It's an oppressive force in Featherface that's apparently been seen carting off seals. Clearly, the meteor told them to take a sick day, because, dog, you're not telling me that's not a dinosaur. And low key, oh they might go the same way. For all the harpy hate I was talking, there's no recorded case of a harpy eagle killing or even attacking a human. In fact, it's them not being afraid of humans that can get them put on a shirt by poachers. Add habitat destruction, and if raptors like them aren't in danger, they're at least in danger of being endangered. Which is why you got places like the Raptor Trust in Millington, New Jersey, looking after all kinds of birds from Ollie the Kestrel to Virgil the Turkey Vulture. They got couples too, like Mariah and Thor the Golden Eagles. They're mad cute together. And of course, a symbol of America, Colonel and Uno. Uno because Colonel. of the whole one wing thing. And even oh. though they're technically not raptors, I even met Ray the Raven. You know it's crazy? He's in a cage, and he's in a relationship with another wild raven. Like, he'll even sneak food between the bars of his cage for her. You know what's crazier? <laughs> <laughs> this girl has a whole nother family in the wild. I usually That's don't crazy. rock with home records, but I'm rocking with Ray. But like I said, said my hey, favorites hey, were definitely I mean, the okay, owls, Jeff, especially this barred owl named Sunny. I think he liked me. Although the vulture's gotta be a close second since they'll literally walk up and follow you around like a puppy. Oh, this isn't sponsored by the way. I just had a good time and wanted to shout them out. So if you're ever in the area, the Raptor Trust in Millington, New Jersey, 100% recommend okay. it. But that's gonna do it for this video. Drink water, hug your mother. Get that. Shout out to Uncogni for sponsoring this video. Shout out to the Pigeon Paralysis Demon for sponsoring the Imagination. Pigeon Paralysis and I'm gonna see y'all in the next one. It's trying to get that mother. Yo, that's the second time we've seen a video of a cat trying, a bird trying to get a cat behind some glass. Yeah, but he break that glass. It's all over. That cat gonna lose its mind. Your boy, it's gonna be one hell of a fight. <laughs> hey, this was facts. You watch the facts here too, man. Feel educated. Yeah, them some, them some different, them some different kinds of uh, 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 birds, bro. You know what I'm saying? straight whole ass dinosaurs. That I feel like could, could get me. I ain't, I don't want to go out like that. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to be food for another animal. I can't. I don't want to do that. That's <laughs> just not where I see it ending. <laughs> but this is a good one, man. That's the take. Be sure to like. Be sure to subscribe. Follow me on all that social media. And I catch y'all next time, fam. Peace. 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 Peace.